Hi everybody, it's Starla from Starla's Creative Teaching Tips and today we are going to begin a journey on regional terms and you're like, what are those? Okay, regional terms are the language that anatomists and your doctors and your nurses and PT people, they use. So when they're charting and they're putting in information, they don't name your body like head, shoulder. They have specific terms that they use them. Now you're thinking, well, they're going to be hard. Oh, no. It's just another language and anybody can learn them. All right. And here's what's neat about learning them. As you learn these terms, bones and blood vessels and other parts of the body become a piece of cake because you learn the regional terms. All right. Now, a lot of times instructors, okay, uh, they may give you a whole list, okay, and you're like, ah, and yeah, it's like trying to eat a 42-ounce steak at one meal, okay, mm, can't do it, that could probably serve me for a week. With all big things, when you're learning, you try to learn in smaller doses, okay, so we're going to learn just eight, okay, now do them with me, because by doing them with me, we learn kinesthetically, so if we're going to learn, we might as well do it by movement, singing, a joke, something, so that we learn it one time and it sticks with us, okay? So here's the deal. Once we finish with this, do it at least three times a day, three times tomorrow, and three times the day after, and then after that, you should only have to do it once, and you'll feel like you were born knowing it. It's called 331. Three times a day for three days, and after that, once. Teach others. Yeah, show them how smart you are. Okay, so here we go, you ready? All right, everybody get your hands, go around your head. There you go. This is known as the cephalic region. The head area of the body is the cephalic. So when you guys are in biology and you learn about octopus or squid, they're called, ready, cephalopods. Cephala, because of the head. Pod for foot. So they're called head-footed animals. They're very cool. They belong to the mollusk kingdom, okay? All right, so here we go. We got cephalic. All right, ready? Flatten your hand. Oh, there you go, the front of your head. There it is. The front of your head is exactly that. Frontal. This is the frontal region of your head. Now, here's what's neat. Behind it is the frontal region of your brain. Yeah, your personality is wired up right there. Is that cool? So this is the frontal, and it's the frontal lobe of your brain. You have two of them right here, two frontal lobes. Okay, who's this? Excellent cephalic. Frontal, excellent, okay, good. Now, your eyes, okay, you've all, you know what these are, because you've all used these before, you've picked them up, you're looking, binoculars, oh, your eyes are called ocular, yeah, isn't that neat? All right, so ocular for your eyes, all right, and you can remember it, because ocular has two C's in it, so you can have two eyes to see with, yeah, okay, now watch this, feel right here, Feel it? All right, now flatten your hand out, try to hit your eye, go for it. Yeah, I, you can't get it. This is called the bony orbital, all right? This is the orbital. Your eye is set back. It's actually much smaller than the orbital, and it has fat pads and muscles to hold it in place. Okay, no, your eye can't just fall out. All right, and so, but here's what's neat. It protects your eye from getting hit. Cool, all right, here we go, ready? Cephalic. All right, who's named after that? Squid and octopus, very good, cephalopods. Frontal, excellent. What part of the brain is? The frontal lobes, yeah. What's this in here? Personality, good reason to wear your seatbelt. Put your seatbelt across so you don't go forward and hit anything because you don't want that hit. Ready? Ocular, excellent. Who's this right here? Oh, very good, the bony orbital. All right, now, you've all had this out there, it's all done, it's all done. and nasal, you sound nasally, because this is the regional term for your nose is nasal. So if it says, hey, spray this, this is a nasal spray, well, you, you don't have spray it in your ear, you spray it in your nose. All right, excellent, good, here we go, your cheeks. Now, there's a debate, there's two pronunciations, so let's just learn both. There's buckle and buccal. Yeah. Now, the dental world, they like to call it buckle. 
okay? But you'll run across some people in the medicine world and in anatomy, they'll call it bugle. Just go with it. You know what it is. As long as you can spell it right, you're good to go. All right, let's go back. Here we go. Cephalic. Frontal. Ocular. Orbital. Nasal. Excellent. And buccal or buccal. Now, isn't it funny when we're thinking, where do you want to go eat dinner? I don't know. I don't... We rub our chin. This is called the mental region. Isn't that funny? So we rub our mental region so we can think. I don't know how that works, but it works. Okay? And then your mouth, which I bet most of you already know, is oral. So if it says, take this medicine orally, well, you're not putting it up your nose. You're putting it in your mouth. There you go. Okay, so let's do it. Ready? Here we go. Cephalic, frontal, do it fast. Ocular, good. Orbital, nasal, buccal or buccal, oral, mental. All right, now see how good you are. Ready? See if you can do it without me. Excellent! Whew. It's fast. Look how quick you learned that. That was so easy. Now, here's one more thing before I put up the spellings for you, right? Everybody feel up here. Feel your eyebrows. Feel them? Yeah. Do you feel how the hair moves from the middle of your body to the outside? This is medial. And when you move to the outside, it's lateral. We'll do, we'll do a cool pocket lesson on that. Okay, ready? Notice how it moves outside. So when sweat or rain come down your forehead, it hits the hair, and the hair moves the water away from your eyes. Okay, you got to admit, that's pretty cool, right? Okay, here's what we did today, right here. Cool, first set for you. Ready? There it is. There's your first set. You can snapshot that. Now, here's what's awesome about Latin. It spells the way it sounds. Gotta love it. All right, last time. Cephalic, frontal, buccal, buccal, mental, oral, nasal, ocular, orbital. And why does it go? What's the rain do? It moves it away from your eyes. I hope you had a fun time with this quick pocket lesson. I'll see you in a couple days. Take care, be kind to one another, and make a positive difference in the world. See you later.